Generally, mass timber dimensionally is not affected by temperature fluctuations, whereas other materials might be. So understanding what are those potential reasons for differential movement and then detailing the interfaces, especially of those connections and those materials to each other, say when we have a concrete core and a mass timber panel coming into it. What types of differential movements would we expect to occur there? And then how do we detail to accommodate those types of differential movements? Something specific to a structural steel and mass timber project is really most projects look to eliminate or, or minimize as much as possible any on-site welding for obvious reasons. You know, we don't want to create a fire hazard. There's also potential for just localized kind of char pitting occurring on the, the mass timber that's adjacent to that field welded connection. So having bolted connections to the maximum extent possible is very beneficial.